De regreso aquí en Auto 060, la edición especial desde el Auto Show Internacional en Detroit, la versión 2014, donde estamos viendo ya los modelos 2015 y algunos prototipos muy interesantes. La verdad que ha sido un show súper, súper interesante. Y un auto que ya no es un prototipo, sino que ya está en su segunda generación, es el Hyundai Genesis, la nueva generación del auto de lujo del fabricante coreano, que está de hecho por debajo del Ecus, que es el de super lujo del fabricante coreano. Eh, muchos cambios en este nuevo modelo, eh, mucha más tecnología, más lujo, más desempeño de alto nivel. Así que vamos a hablar con Ricky Lau, que es el Senior Product Planner de Hyundai para Estados Unidos sobre el nuevo Genesis 2015. Well, Ricky, uh, thank you for uh, having us here again. Uh, we, uh, the last time I saw you, we were driving in Miami in the rain, uh, the new Echo. So, but now here at the Auto Show in Detroit, you have something completely new for uh, Hyundai, right? Oh yeah, we're really excited to introduce the all new 2015 Genesis that you see downstairs. So. Yeah, and uh, so tell me about it. Everything new in this car? Yeah, everything is new from the ground up. So obviously, starting with the beautiful design, it's what we call Fluidic Sculpture 2.0, our second generation of Fluidic Sculpture. And in our new Genesis, it's it's a beautiful execution, distinctive, upscale, and sleek, and you see that in the lines of the car. Yeah. Um, one thing that is very interesting to me is the way you display the car, because you cut it off in half. Yes. Uh, what yes. was the purpose of that? I, I think the, the purpose was really to highlight a really some great features of the car, starting with the all-new exclusive to the all-new Genesis, really rigid platform. As we all know, that really impacts the handling characteristics of the car, the uh, noise levels, as well as the driving dynamics. And uh, in this particular car, we have what we believe is the stiffest chassis platform in the segment that actually has a higher uh, torsional and bending rigidity than the 5 Series. So what we're looking at is class-leading safety and impressive driving dynamics. Yeah. And uh, what about engines? Is there anything new in that in that sense? Yeah, we've actually uh, upgraded um, in terms of our engines. We still have our 5.0 Tau and our 3.8 liter Lambda V6 engine. So those are award-winning engines. And we've actually made some key enhancements to really improve mid and low range torque response. So everyday drivability has really been enhanced on yeah, both Automatic engines. transmission, for sure, right? Yes, we have uh, our eight-speed automatic transmission that's also been enhanced with uh, faster gear shift change speed, as well as a uh, new sport mapping and standard paddle shifters on the car now. Yeah, and that, now let's talk about all the mechanic parts of, of, of the cars are obviously are very, very important. Yeah. But uh, you spend more time inside than outside. <laughs> 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 Hopefully looking at the hood, right? Yeah. And that, in that sense also, I mean, like a, a huge... Uh, oh, a huge I mean, not that the other one was bad, yeah. but uh, I mean, again, like you guys keep doing like great things. Yeah, obviously we're looking at the top benchmarks in the segment in terms of mid-luxury. So the first thing you notice is a brand new, very intuitive, very premium upscale interior design. Um, some of the key highlights are all that you'll feel is the ultra premium leather that's now available in the car that's beautifully double stitched. You'll have real wood in the interior as well as real uh, aluminum in the center console so both of these features are available. And of course when you're sitting behind the wheel you're, you'll see our new 9.2 inch screen ultimate navigation system. It's the first Uh, navigation system in the segment that has a high definition screen. Wow. So it's beautiful seeing what's displayed on there and it has all the latest technology. So integration with music platforms such as Pandora and uh, it's also powered by our second generation Blue Link. So, and that's really great because we've brought destination search powered by Google to the system. And we have these really cool things such as uh, this new Google, um, this uh, new Genesis intelligent app, as well as integration with Google Glass. Yeah. So really cool So features. it's getting to a point in which you, I'm um, going to have to think about driving or being a passenger, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think uh, in the Genesis, you'll enjoy doing both. Um, yeah. Me personally, I like being behind the wheel because this car really just drives great. Absolutely. So what about uh, availability? When is it coming out to market? Because this is the debut here at the auto show, but... Uh, yeah. So in the... Uh, On sale date is spring of 2014, so the car will be available in dealerships in spring of 2014. And of course, for the first time, we have this car available in both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive configuration. So that's a big plus. So uh, we're really looking forward to the sales potential of this car. And are we going to see an R spec uh, later on? You know, stay <laughs> tuned. It's always something we're studying. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Ricky. And uh, I hope uh, we go and uh, drive it sometime soon. Uh, Definitely, let without, me know. Without rain, huh? Yeah, without rain. <laughs> Definitely, uh, let me know. Call me up, and we'll, uh, we'll take a nice drive on the new Genesis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.
Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. 